I had been unfaithful to Jeanette with an employee of ours. Um, I threw the marriage like in the trash. I just, 20 after 20 years, I was done. I don't know where it came from, but I thought I was in love with this new person um, that I had this affair with. And I told her I didn't love her anymore. I told her that we were done. I actually moved out of our beautiful home. Uh, we actually went to divorce lawyers, both of us. I was completely taken aback. It was a complete shock. The minute I found out, he told me he never loved me. He was leaving me. He found the love of his life. We became roommates, pretty much disconnected. And um, it was kind of frustrating because I really wanted to connect and spend time with my wife and, and do things. And it didn't seem like anything I did worked. And uh, we just grew further and further apart. We got stuck in the daily routine. Our marriage started to fall apart when we had kids. Um, and all of a sudden, the kids became the center. And things were not going very well. And Eric had decided that he was going to move out. I had been hurt and the trust had been broken down in our relationship, we um, decided that we were actually gonna separate. After about 15 or 16 years, we had gotten to the point in our marriage where we thought, man, this is too painful, it's too hard, let's, let's just um, separate, and I think it should be easier like that. We had been married for 24 years. At some point, we stopped being you know, husband and wife or, or lovers or soulmates, and we started being roommates. And then that deteriorated into, we were roommates who didn't really care for each other, who, who weren't kind to one another. Billy had said to me that he loved me, but he was not in love with me anymore. Our physical relationship it dissolved into nothing. And I would try to hug him, it would be, like this dead weight, there was nothing there. I had found out that Billy was having an emotional affair. Typical way, got the email, I got the cell phone bill and saw these texts. He doesn't text this much. It was devastating. He just wanted out. He was ready for a change in his life and he really didn't know what specifically was wrong but he just felt like he was drowning and that's what he was telling me you know I, I feel like I'm drowning I, I gotta I gotta escape I gotta it was very hard to understand you know what was going on now of course you have ideas like well this is a midlife crisis and crisis it was Every year, millions are heartbroken by a failed marriage. Many file for divorce, but others want to fix their marriage, rediscover love with their spouse, and keep their family intact. Some people try counseling, but marriage counseling requires two willing parties. And even when both parties are willing, research shows that marriage counseling does not work in most cases. I was married before, once before, very young, um, 10 years. We went to counseling and it, it actually made it worse. Um, and obviously we ended up divorced. It seemed like pointing fingers at people, you know, it, it wasn't good. It was just, it didn't work. I never went to a traditional counselor. And the reason why I didn't go is I spoke to a lot of friends who went to counselors and they all said the same thing. Uh, they said, you know, I just, we were digging up all these problems from the past and we were fighting and it just got worse. And, and I read some statistics where a majority of people who went to counseling ruined their marriage or it, it, uh, it really just put the nail in the coffin when they went. And I knew there had to be something better than that out there, a different approach.
In 2004, alternatives to counseling emerged. A breakthrough came when the pioneer in the field, Mort Fertel, developed a Lone Ranger track for his marriage fitness program. He said on the Lone Ranger track that there is so much that just one person in the relationship can do to make a huge difference. Um, he was absolutely right. I felt like the weight of the world was just lifted off of my shoulders because I was so um, depressed for a long time and I really missed my wife. You know, I just didn't know what I was doing wrong until I went through the program. A lot of friends and family, they meant well when they said this, um, but they'd say, you can't do it alone. If he doesn't want to work on your marriage, it's over. And Mort says it, it just takes one. That gave me hope because at the time my husband did not want to work on a marriage. My husband saw a change in me, and that's what brought him about to make him um, more interested in taking a look at the program and more willing to be a part of it. Um, was He saw the change in me, and he's mentioned that. Well, I remember it was on my birthday, and we were driving in the car, and all three of our kids were in the back seat, and we, had been through some really hard times and we were we'd been pretty cold to each other for quite a long time and he reached over in the car and took my hand and that's when I knew it changed things were better that we had a chance so easy for your eyes to be on the other person if they would just do this then it would fix my pain I would feel better this would work out but um, Mort's program started saying this is what you can do regardless of what your spouse is doing. I'll say this about Mort's program. I didn't go through it. I don't know nothing about it, except that it works. One person can change a relationship and save it. He told her how and she did it. And so I signed up for Mort's program and I loved it. I couldn't put it down day and night. I was just going through the program and I just was learning so much at every turn. And I knew that I would be on my own because my husband already said he was done. Yeah, I could see a change in her right right away when she took it and um, that inspired me that you know she was willing to make some changes and then I could see that you know we needed to make some changes together. I definitely saw a lot of change in her and was just mesmerized by it and, and at the time I guess I secretly liked it, but I was telling her to stop um, at the same time, which is odd. For me, at, at that time, I didn't change anything about myself. Um, but when I came back, um, yeah, I was definitely more committed. I was alone on the Lone Ranger program, but because of my attitude change and my behavior change, it has created his attitude and behavior change. So he has changed, but it's because of my participation and reaction, which Mort Fertel said would happen as well. The Marriage Fitness Program, developed by Mort Fertel, is not based on counseling principles. The program has revolutionized the industry by offering an alternative to the traditional therapy protocol. Counseling, often, you know, people will talk about their conflicts and one of his main tenets is that you need to work on repairing the relationship and reconnecting before you try to solve the conflicts or problems. And I think that's really true. I think it's a very good approach and I think it works. I wish more therapists would you know, be familiar with his approach and, and use it. When we went through marriage counseling, um, it became almost a blame game. It was each week we kind of both dreaded going because we dredge up all of our issues, all of our problems, all of the negative feelings. And I felt like we were both trying to win over the counselor of who's right and who's wrong. And, and it seemed like we just got worse every week, not better. Um, with marriage fitness, you put your problems to the side while you work on building love and trust again. I decided to look for some help because he didn't want to go to counseling. It's like, you go get help. You go to counseling. I found Mort Fortell. He said yes. We looked at the um, 
what was presented followed the, the guidance or leadership of Mort and what he, his philosophy my husband liked. And my husband, Bob, doesn't listen to anybody. It was different. We had been through marriage counselors. Uh, you know, looking back to what was your relationship like with your parents. You know, and, and it, wasn't, it, it wasn't focusing on the past, it was focusing on the future. It was focusing on not so much what had happened, but what can be. In a therapy situation, if a client were to say to a therapist, well, what do you think I should do? A therapist is most likely to return that question and say, well, what do you think you should do? Whereas a program uh, like Marriage Fitness, there are specific strategies. And if you were to ask Mort, what do you think I should do? He'll tell you what he thinks you should do. Marriage Fitness gives you actual things to do and, and, and changes behaviors in you instead of just talking through something with a counselor and maybe trying to change your attitude. It actually gives you action items and, and things that you can um, change immediately. He's not giving you tools to stare into each other's eyes. It's not a mumbo jumbo thing. It's a, it's a real life things to do. Mort has clients from not only all over the United States and, and Canada and North America, but from all over the world. And you can't accomplish that without technology. So I think it is really changing the marriage help uh, arena in that traditional counseling has kind of gotten a bad rap and from anecdotal evidence and a bit of research as well. Uh, a lot of times it's not really all that successful, it's not really all that helpful. So here's a program that's different. Not only is the information easily accessible, uh, but it works. My favorite part of the program was the fact that he was there and I could reach to him in the middle of the night because it was virtual because it was online and I could read or listen to it on my time. It fit into the plan I had in my life. Like I'm a busy person, I'm a hairstyler, and it's like you could do this online. People don't have to know you, you can listen to the conversations and do, I ordered them. Most people can't afford to go to a counseling every day. And that's what I really appreciate about Mort's program. It's like you had a counselor every day. 24 hours a day. I think my favorite part of the program were the Q&As. Um, you got on the phone once a week and Mort would come on and you could ask him anything you wanted and he was just so real and honest with his answers. A new solution for the masses often emerges from one person's pain. Marriage Fitness was born in the crucible of Mort Fertel's marital crisis. The Fertels lost three children, their marriage crashed, and after finding the typical healing strategies unhelpful, they discovered a new path to reconciliation. It's a powerful story. It's the type of story that could have ended in a statistic. That level of trauma and that level of tension in a marriage could have easily led to a divorce. The personal work, the introspection that he had to go through and the path that he had to go through in, in order to learn how to become a great husband is ultimately what qualifies him to do what he does. There's, there's no comparison between book knowledge and techniques that you learn in school and even things that you can, you can watch a therapist, uh, how they interact with a couple, but there's no comparison between that and a person who's actually had to walk that path in life. I believe because of his personal story, he can relate to all of us and how we feel. Had he not had a mess or a problem, he wouldn't have this message. I trust Mort because I read his story and I could really relate to the things that he was saying. And he just seemed like a very good person and down to earth and kind hearted and was um, developing the program from his heart and experience they can see that because of my personal experience in my own marriage, I can relate to them. They can relate to me. 
we have a shared experience. I know them. I've been where they're at. I've experienced the pain. And I know what it takes to get from where they are to where they want to be because I've traveled the road. And from man to man, I can trust a man like that because I can hear in his voice that he's not just selling a product. It was coming from a place where he had experience. It was coming from a place that made you take notice. And it was important to him to save um, as to save a marriage. It was something like a goal that he had. It was from inside. You could tell it was um, something he was called to do. I remember the first time I met him, I, there was a clarity in his eyes and there was something also very gentle about his hands. And there's this deep desire to want to help or do something with his life to make a difference. I want to tell you one-on-one -on -one personally how much of a difference you made in my life. One of the words you use is transforming. Um, I was able to transform. He is speaking from his heart and he lives it. You know, sometimes people will say, do this, and then in their private lives, they don't live it. He's constantly working with it and living it and teaching it and so it's very much a part of our lives. I really enjoy working for Mr. Fertel. I think that he is a really kind and thought out person and he really cares about the people that he's helping. I post the testimonials on our website and literally they're copy and pasted from emails I get. We don't even edit them. They're like amazing. They blow your mind and then I see like how I helped. Like I made someone's marriage better. And yes, I didn't counsel them and I didn't give them Mr. Vertel's advice, um, but I helped them every other way possible, making their life as easy as I, as I can because I know what terrible things they're going through and I'm able to help them logistically either set up sessions or help them with the digital download or advise them on the website. Like little things like that really add up when, you're, when your whole world is in chaos. People in marital crisis are looking for one thing and one thing only, results. And if you can deliver results, they really don't care about the initials after your name. They're not interested in fancy degrees. They just want to turn their marriage around. And they're looking for practical, simple, straightforward solutions, not a bunch of psychobabble to turn their marriage around. And that's what I deliver. And I've proved over many, many years that the methodology works. We still have our struggles, but it's a different feel to our marriage. Um, I don't have the insecurity of fearing that he's going to leave me. Um, I feel the love when we're working through things instead of um, feeling the isolation and the loneliness and we just love each other better. I have noticed some big changes in my husband, how we handle things when we do disagree. Um, where he used to just want to get in a car and go, or we would threaten divorce. I mean, both of us would threaten divorce, and we don't use that anymore. I knew him in his good state. I loved him in his bad state. He loved me in my ugly state as well. We just needed to find that, because that kind of got buried amongst the trash a little bit. And Morfortel did, his program did help us take out some trash and, and find that, that golden nugget that was still there. I can. I can say that for the past two years, my heart has never been this full. I have my buddy back. We laugh. We go out on Thursday nights, and I look forward to that. I look as forward to that Thursday night as I did to the Friday night when I was allowed to see him when I was 15 years old. And when your heart is full, it, it radiates outward in other aspects. I'm a different person at work and in my studio. I can leave it there. I don't necessarily have to come home and vent to him, although he's got an open ear that's always ready to hear. And I know, I know he hears me. I know. Before all I heard was wah, 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 It was a Charlie Bound show. Yeah. <laughs> 
when he came and said he wanted to try again, I, I went into shock again. I didn't believe. I didn't believe it. It worked. So whatever it is, it worked. I think people get divorced because they don't know any better. I believe everybody should ha have Mort's class in high school or college, you know? He's wise, he's compassionate, he's smart, and he is successful in his own marriage. His program works from A to Z. It's, that's simple. I really thought my husband was going to divorce me and we were finished. It, I was scared and anxious. And so I felt desperate and seeked for help. And Mort brought that to me. I would say to Mort Fertel, thank you for saving my marriage. And your advice was right on track. And it brought me to reconciling with my husband and we we're in a better place than we've ever been before. I had a client I was working with a few years ago when you think about like the couple that's like one step away from divorce this was that situation she was ready to walk out of the marriage so I sent the husband to Mort um, and I just I really put uh, him and and their marriage in Mort's uh, trustworthy hands and I have to say I think this was the most difficult marital case I've ever worked with and Mort literally was like a miracle worker I, I'm, there's no exaggeration. W within a few weeks, really within a few sessions, he totally turned around this guy's perspective, totally turned around both of their perspectives in terms of their marriage and their relationship and their, what their future would look like together. And he gave them hope, which was the most important thing. It was literally a game changer. It was my toughest case ever. The best possible outcome. They're a very happily married couple. When I talk to them and, and when I talk to the wife nowadays, she still quotes Mort, uh, quote things from his program, from things that he said in sessions, and they are they're forever grateful for saving their marriage and keeping their family intact. Mort just has a way of, of giving advice and giving you things to do, but once you do it and you see the results and, and you see that um, you can have, have the story where my story where my husband woke me up at 2 a.m. out of the blue, he never looked back. and. Our relationship is different and better than it, it, it ever could have been. Shortly after Alicia decided not to file for a divorce, we had our eldest daughter get into a life-threatening car accident. I can just imagine how that would have played out if I hadn't changed, if I wasn't a different person. There would have been pointing fingers and blaming instead of holding hands and helping. I basically followed every step that he, he laid out in the program. And there wasn't just one thing that worked. It was, it was a whole combination that it's like a recipe that you have to follow. And if you don't do all of the parts of the recipe, then you know, your results might not be very good. It was on our 16th anniversary, and uh, I went and I, I, uh, I got a card and um, wrote a little note in the card and got her a small gift. And I had no idea what was gonna happen where she said that she loved me and that she wants to work on the marriage and right there, it was just all the weight of the world was immediately gone. And I felt, wow, it, you know, this, this finally worked. It's just an honor and a privilege to be able to share what this program has done in our marriage and given us that we know that we're gonna make it to our 50th anniversary and that we're changing generation and giving our children hope and showing them what a marriage can look like. You know, we have everything we could have ever dreamed of. We have communication, we have peace, we have fun, you know, we can, we've, we've created everything we could have ever wanted from the beginning. We're love. Well, we created love again. <laughs> <laughs>